So how does one implement a strategy? How will we as GE Aerospace implement this strategy? It's very simple. And we're pleased to share with you in some depth today, Flight Deck. Flight Deck is the framing of the next step of our lean transformation. Flight Deck is our proprietary lean operating model. This is the way we're going to run the business. And we're gonna run the business with the customer's expectations front and center. And we've decided to go with Flight Deck, something we rolled out just a month ago with our senior leadership team from around the world in Dayton, to make sure that we seize the moment and we accelerate from here the lean transformation that has been gathering momentum because we're gonna need all of that positive effect as a public company. But don't take it from me. I've got a couple of uh, colleagues here who will share their perspectives on Flight Deck. For more than 100 years, GE Aerospace's purpose has remained clear. We invent the future of flight, lift people up, and bring them home safely. As a standalone company, we will raise the bar, ensuring we are not only delivering for our customers, our shareholders, and the flying public, but also improving how we work at the same time. How will we do this? With GE Aerospace's proprietary lean operating model, Flight Deck. Rooted in our leadership behaviors of humility, transparency, and focus. Flight Deck is our systematic approach to running our business to deliver exceptional value as measured through the eyes of our customers. Lean is not new here. We have been at it for some time. Flight Deck is about acceleration, applying lean tools to bridge from strategy to results. Not only quarter to quarter, year to year, but over time, so that we are delivering sustainable results. Flight Deck is the next step in G Aerospace's lean transformation. Safety, quality, delivery, cost, in that order. The pilots and crew operate and navigate the aircraft from the Flight Deck. We do the same. Flight Deck, for us, is how we run the company. Operating as one team and with one strategy, Flight Deck is how we work, how we lead, how we soar. And the, the introduction of Flight Deck really has helped, I think, set us up not only for what comes on the 2nd of April, but to accelerate our adoption of, of lean and all that, that goes into that. But as you saw in the video, it really isn't an end unto itself. It's a means in, to an end. Talked about those three st strategic priorities a moment ago with respect to today, tomorrow, and the future. We have objectives, and we'll talk a good bit about the financial targets later on. But in essence, think about the way we run the business, first and foremost, operationally, from an SQDC perspective. The financials obviously matter, but all the while, we want to make sure we're also playing the long game. And that's where Hoshin Conry comes in. That's the piece of the, the operating model that allows us to identify in our strap planning processes the breakthroughs that we need to strengthen our competitive advantages and then operationalize them. And Flight Deck really does, as the video suggests, sits in the middle of this so that we can not only talk strategy, but deliver it. Deliver it in its operational, its financial, and in its Hoshin Connery manifestations. We could go on all day, I promise I won't, but let me just take a, another minute to give you a little bit more detail on what Flight Deck means. There are 10 Flight Deck fundamentals that we've initiated at GE Aerospace. You see them on this slide. Five for the enterprise, five at the individual level. At the enterprise level, standard work. And I know we've got a couple of lean practitioners in the audience. You understand how important that is in contrast to quarter and heroics. Daily and visual management allows us to manage in real time. Value stream management allows us to look at the work we do, not the functions that might be the way we're uh, organized. Our operating cadences have been a big part of what we've been up to the last several years. Our weekly operating reviews, our monthly operating reviews, to make sure we've got everybody together around the critical few. And I mentioned strategy driving Hoshin. That really is the essence of flight deck at the enterprise level for all of us. At the individual level, our expectations of every GE leader in the room and around the world can be boiled down to these five. Continuous improvement. We want everyone to have a continuous improvement mindset. 
we never rest. Respect for people, and it starts with listening, maybe a little more than speaking. Being customer driven, really seeing ourselves the way customers see us, not the way we see ourselves or the way we'd like to be seen. And action planning, a real emphasis on action planning this year as opposed to reporting, and there is a difference. We can get into that later. And then fi finally, problem solving. We want to be good, disciplined, scientific problem solvers, not casual finger pointers. And again, that's our expectations for ourselves as a leadership team and across the organization. And these 10 come together and they shape how we do the work that we do. We'll go to the next page. I want to go to Terre Haute, Indiana give you a sense of what this looks like in, in real time. In Terre Haute, we build the LEAP turbine center frame. Been one of the key constraints inside of our four walls for some time. And that's been a, uh, a challenge for us, particularly in, in ramping with the, uh, the LEAP. We went in, took that value stream approach, drove a lot of Kaizens to the point where we don't have an on-time delivery issue out of Terre Haute anymore. We've got model lines in place, really probably our benchmark facility from a commercial perspective. And we did that all the while, not throwing bodies into the fray, by, but by putting our team in a position to succeed, such that on-time delivery improved, and we got a 50% improvement in productivity. You can do both. And again, that's where flight debt comes in. But unfortunately, as we look to meet today's challenges and tomorrow's, it's not all about what happens inside of our four walls. Our supply chain has a critical role to play. Over 80% of our delivery challenges today are somewhere rooted in our supply chain. It might be a supplier to us, it might be a supplier to them. We're taking flight deck to Gemba, to those points of impact, to make sure we can identify constraints, get to root cause, and solve them. We may contain an issue in the short term while looking for longer term fixes and when you look just last year at the 25% year-over-year increase in deliveries that we had in LEAP engines, a lot of that really is a result of taking lean into the supply base to help them help us. More to do, but I like the momentum that we've got in this regard.